Hi everybody, I'm Walt Lewis and we're here with another Fire Engineering Training Minutes. Today I have my friend Jason Revolt. We're going to talk about the value of UAV systems and their arson investigations. Jason, as an arson investigator, do you find value in the UAVs being able to help you with your investigation? Absolutely. Yeah. To us, they're a bit of a game changer. In years past, we'd always set up an aerial to get that overhead shot of our structure fire to give us a better indication on how things happened. With the UAVs, we've determined that we can get as good, if not better, images and be able to go in depth and to that structure that we could not normally do with a tower apparatus. So the tower truck that would set up on side A would be very limited because you wouldn't be able to see the side C perspective or get that zoom in or another perspective or a dormer is in the way. We're in that very large structure, just not get you that vantage point at all. Right. So this definitely gives you another set of eyes from the sky to be able to look at the whole arson scene and help with that investigation. Absolutely. And most of the time when we're doing an arson investigation, it's well after the fire operations have stopped. So the tower truck might not even be on scene. And we would have to call that unit back. And so this is a time saver and really works to our advantage. Awesome. Well, how about we fly it up and we'll see what it gets us on the fire ground. Sounds good. All right. So here we are on scene of a recent structure fire. It's a fairly large wood frame duplex. As you can see, it has a lot of stuff inside. Provides a hazard to our investigators. Let's see what footage we get from our UAS. So let's go and make sure our device is recording video. All right. So we'll gain some altitude so we can get an overall picture of what our building looks like. You want to get high enough to be able to see the whole building but you don't want to be too high to where you lose your resolution. And from this angle, you get a really good visualization of how the fire progressed over the roof structure. And you can see, it appears the fire stops work very well, saving the other half of the duplex. So as we're flying over the structure, we want to constantly be wary of obstructions, trees, power lines, anything that's going to interact with our UAS in a negative way. Now because of all the debris making it very difficult for our investigator to get inside this structure, we're going to bring the drone down and into the building itself, giving us a view that we would normally not be able to get with this kind of debris and damage. And as I'm looking, I can see the garage. I can see a vehicle inside the garage. We'll bring it down a little lower. And as you're flying, you, you definitely want to periodically look up and orient yourself, orient yourself to where that your UAS is. Say that again, please. So as you're flying around the structure, you don't want to focus all your energy on the screen. You want to periodically look up and make sure you know where your UAS is located in the structure. So we're getting a great picture, great detail from a, from a distance that we would never be able to get. Even if we set up a tower ladder, This gives us a great perspective to conduct our investigation. All right, we've conducted a very good assessment of this structure. So let's go ahead and pull it out and land it.
here we have a commercial building fire. And with the UAV, the arson investigator is able to see the damage from the fire, the spread, the roof cut made, where the apparatus parked, the hose line stretched, the stock removed from the structure, things that were damaged from the fire, things that may have been uh, left intact that may later on be damaged, anything that we might have to account for. Having the UAV and footage would help the arson investigator piece together the scene and helping them get their job done. So another valuable tool for us to use is the UAVs, and in this case, arson investigation of having it up in the air, not having to call out additional manpower, a uh, million dollar piece of apparatus. We'll call a mutual aid company to come help us with an arson investigation right. when uh, it's, it's difficult to get, even in the volunteer sense of having those units come out in a daytime operation. So just another great aspect as to why the UAV systems are valuable to us. Absolutely. It gives us that perspective that we don't normally get when we're investigating a fire. Sounds great. Jason, thanks for coming out today. For Fire Engineering Training Minutes, I'm Walt Lewis. And I'm Jason Revolt. Thanks for watching. <music>